everyone, it's me, Penny. <laughs> Welcome back to my practice room. In this video, I'm going to be talking about flutter pedaling. Now you've seen butterflies and hummingbirds and you know how fast their wings can move. Well, as pianists, if we want to learn to play really well, we need to be able to imitate these creatures with our foot on the damper pedal. Because by flutter pedaling, we are able to conjure up some more delicious colors of sound from the instrument. And this involves basically vibrating your foot as fast as possible. Now I've taken the music rack off so that you can see inside. <laughs> and uh, we've got the cast iron plate here. That's all this metal colored big bars holding things in place. This patch of, of a black over the strings and then there's some up here too. We don't have any in the very highest part of the piano but from here all the way down these this blob of black that you see these are the dampers and they have felt soft felt underneath them to sit snugly upon the strings. I'll show you some footage of that. When the pedal is not in use those dampers, as they say, are sitting snug as a bug in a rug <laughs> over the strings. And once we put the pedal down, the tray of dampers all lift together. See them go up, down. But that is the basic mechanism. Now let's get a look more closely inside these dampers. Okay, so you can see here a close-up of the dampers. We got the top part, looks like black licorice, <laughs> that's wood, and then the white felt, a little piece of red felt as well, in between. And this is in the middle range of the piano, and in that middle range you can see that the felt looks like a little, looks like a tooth when you go to the dentist's office. Hey? <laughs> Those two little points in the bottom, like a letter W, is like the roots of your tooth. <laughs> Well, at least in the mid-range of the piano, that's what they look like. If we get a little further down into the bass, you can see it's just a, it's just like a little triangle. They look like shark teeth, no? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm never going to look at them the same way. But here in the middle of the piano, we have the little wedge in the middle there. And you can see when I release the pedal, those dampers sits very snugly in nestled in the string there. And that's what you want. If you don't have that on your piano, then it should be serviced because the dampers should just fit snugly right in the string. Just like snug as a bug in a rug, eh? When we're moving by half step, as we do in a chromatic scale, It's important to blend each tone from one to the next, and flutter pedaling is an excellent tool. I'm doing two flutter pedals there for each of those notes. Pedal, 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 pedal. And it's much more blended. Take a single note with no pedal, Go up, say, by fifth, no pedal, and listen to the sound. And then do a straight pedal for each note. It's like a big bubble of sound for this note, and then another big bubble of sound for this. But in between, there's, there's very little two big bubbles. We want to blend those, squeeze those two bubbles so they're more even across. I'm going to flutter pedal. I'm not even putting the pedal all the way down. There it is, all the way down. All I'm doing is just the top, putting it down a quarter of the way, or maybe half of the way. get to a long note that you want to sing upon, you flutter pedal even more. Mm. 
going by scale. You can take a regular scale and do two moderate speed flutter pedals for each note. Pedal, 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 pedal. pedal. I'm going to do the same scale with a single, just straight pedal for each note. But when we flutter pedal, we're blending, so we don't have such big bubbles of sound. Let's compare the scale without pedal. Okay, let's go back to regular pedal. These are the bubbles of sound. And the flutter pedal. You can take a chord as well. And just a slow flutter pedal there. Yes, even on long static chords. You can blend the tone as it's decaying. If I just do it single pedal with no flutter, it's more like a big mass of sound traveling rather than a colorful waft of sound dissipating. Here's the flutter pedal. Listen to the sound. Here it is again. And with straight pedal. With no pedal. This is very subtle stuff, obviously. But when we're playing difficult music, we want to have as much expressiveness as possible. And now I'm going to play the Black Pearl. This is variation 25 from Bach's Goldberg variations. And I'm hoping you can see the dampers and how, how I'm flutter pedaling quite a bit in this variation because it's so chromatic. It's just so much movement of half step. And when I want to create a kind of feeling that the sound is momentarily suspended in time, or I want to make a tone blossom and not just go poof like a punchy sound but a like a blossom to the sound I'm flutter pedaling so my foot is doing a lot of this when you see when I'm flutter pedaling you'll see the whole tray of dampers shaking like that at least I'm hopeful you'll be able to see it <laughs> we're working on our technical setup in different views all right so uh, let's just play that variation for you
Well, I hope that was somewhat helpful for your own practicing. Please don't think that there's some sort of unwritten rule or a set of instructions, a booklet on how to flutter pedal. The secret lies in using your ear, in listening. The first lesson that, that I had where I can recall uh, flutter pedaling being talked about was just very casually. <laughs> oh, Penny, you might want to try some flutter pedal there. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> Oh, you just move your foot really fast. <laughs> and basically throughout my, my training, uh, there wasn't m much more to it than that uh, because it was all about experimentation with your foot and, the, the sp and so many things, the speed of the key descent, the speed in which you come out of the key, the, how long you stay on the pedal, the speed of the pedal descent, the pedal ascent, all of this, which, I mean, trying to explain every little hair of what's going on is kind of like asking the centipede to talk about how do you walk? <laughs> the poor thing is paralyzed. It's got so many legs. There's so much going on. Sometimes you just have to do it. Um, but uh, do experiment with it. Just playing single notes and slow fluttering. Don't try to get to Barry Snyder. <laughs> pedal uh, level uh, on the first day. Barry Snyder was my teacher at the Eastman School of Music and nobody pe flutter pedaled like that man. Holy moly, I'm surprised his piano didn't just like <laughs> pick up off the ground. His foot moved so fast. Uh, but just start slow. Slow flutters. I mean, surely your foot can move <laughs> at this speed, right? <laughs> and then gradually do little pockets of fast vibrating. But anyhow, I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching. I took the <laughs> the black sheet and the black garbage bags off the wall because <laughs> we've got a beautiful sunny day and the leaves are growing. I cut the grass last night and then it rained, ha, ah, which is perfect. That's what you want. <laughs> and uh, so you can see a little bit perhaps of my nice greenery in the back. But I will be back again soon. I'm working on various pieces of Bach and uh, look forward to seeing you again here on my little channel. <laughs> Have a good day and happy practicing. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>